Hello everyone, my name is Finmer, and this is Star Sector Whiskey Tango. So last time we had finally upgraded to some proper um, civilian ships instead, and we're probably gonna get some, we're probably gonna build some uh, atlases pretty soon. Uh, but we bought some actual ships, and we are just about to go out and start killing off some pirates in Percy and League space so that they'll like us a little bit more. But let's continue on our way and make our way over there. Alright, so we got a big pirate trade convoy. Very nice. Let's try to avoid that storm a little bit. Hopefully not too much of a problem. And let's go over here. What in the world is... Oh, it's a salvage fleet. It doesn't look like a pirate to me. Though as we all learn, the uh, pirates... Is this Ishra? No, this is Tile. So let's turn on our system here and let's go... Let's jump in. So, let's try going over here. Maybe we will find some enemies. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Oh man, you poor dudes. Let's uh, try to jump in on the... Alright, let's say hello. And let's engage. Okay, so we don't want to send those in. Let's send in these. Well, let's send in our salvage fleet, actually. That should be sufficient. Let's go ahead and uh, turn on our afterburners so we can charge the enemy. Hopefully we will find something. Alright. Yes, come in, Shrike. Come in, you fool. I will enjoy killing you. Alright. So the enemy carriers back here. We could go and murderize them. And if we push through the enemy line, they will be forced to deal with us. So let's do this. Alright. Engage, everyone. Kill them. Kill them dead. So dumb. <laughs> All right, so let's go for this guy. Very nice. And let's see. There's this venture over there that we want to go after. Once we are proper, targeted at him enough. Uh, let's do it. Let's charge in. Let's show him what for. I wonder if this means you could get behind the enemy and then just shove them into your into your line if you're like in the back of their of their ship. Let's do it. <laughs> Move, bird, get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, they are defeated, so let's um, harry their retreat. Let's consider ship recovery. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll take those. Pick through the wreckage, we'll take it all. Very nice. They still hate us, but you know what? They hate us less. Let's move to engage. Let's kill them. Let's send in our other side of the salvage fleet. 
and let's let them do their thing. Is this enough? We will find out. Well, they are outnumbered, that's for sure. Let's see what we should send in to help them. No, 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 we don't need those. We just need... Now yeah, we just need one of those. That should do the trick. Maybe they do need a little bit more help. You're over here for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, you're just killing that guy. That's right. Let's go ahead and do what we do best. Let's hunt him down, shoot him in the back, and kill him dead. All those, all those apos. Bomb him. Kill him. Kill him dead. Don't let him deflux at all. Let's do this, buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. I'm not your pal, buddy. Yeah, without the upgrades, uh, this does struggle quite a bit to actually kill these guys. Has what looks like reapers? No harpoons. Okay, killed the enemy afflictor. That's nice. Well, we're not going to stay where those are going to be able to hit us. struggling to even hurt this guy, so... Okay. Yeah, without the upgrades, the uh, afflictors actually do struggle quite a bit to do much of anything. Which is unfortunate. Um, let's go take control of... That may be. Now let's just stay in the afflictor and make sure that we can do something over here. Let's go after him. Because while we are kind of jacked up, we also can do a bunch of damage to someone like him. I mean, assuming we can hit them. our flux real quick and we will finish the wall. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Let's kill the rest of them. So there's a shrike up here and a shrike over there. 
let's go do this. You're as good as dead, my friend. You don't know it, but you're as good as dead. Guys, close in and kill it. Nice. Very good. Let's go ahead and claim a victory. Let's carry the retreat. We don't want done. And uh, let's. That's good. Let's go and jump in to uh, this battle. Alright, so they won't work with us at all, which is fine. We are just slowly repairing our stuff. Okay, so there's some enemies over here. Let's go ahead and jump in and let's use our carriers. And then a part of our, our uh, refuse, no, not refuse fleet, our salvage fleet. So let's jump in. Alright, so I'm going to keep trying to go forward. And I do want to see what that uh, destroyer over there does. It's got a reckless commander, so maybe they'll do really well. But who knows? Let's find out. Alright, so we're getting up to the enemy line now. And uh, we are just about to start killing them. We're going to try and put some pressure on that enemy carrier. Let's go ahead and do this. You know, charging like that does mean the enemy could do a bunch of damage to us. Alright, very nice. So the enemy carrier is now dead. Which means that now they have to be content with us. I think he's fired all of his reapers, so he's pretty much plunged his load at this point. Piranha. <laughs> and let's go ahead and charge him. <laughs> now, if you can't charge and fire at the same time, then clearly you need more orcs. Yeah, that does mitigate some problem, because if you're charging and you can just fire at the same time, then, uh, yeah, you mitigate a lot of, uh, you mitigate some threat at least. Uh, but, you know, someone being able to just reaper you to death. Nice. She seems to be, she seems to be doing her job. We're trying desperately, but uh, it looks like she's going to get away. Alright, so let's join the pursuit. Let's have our second in command handle it with those two. Alright, let's consider ship recovery. Nothing that we want. Though this could be good. We'll take that. And let's go ahead and pick through the wreckage. We'll take it all. Ah, nice. Our ships have improved ever so slightly. 
So they want to go, they want to play with Whiskey Tango. Well, we will play with Whiskey Tango. Do you have weapons? Yeah, you've got weapons. That's fine, you can go. Let's, uh, let's just overkill this. Pointlessly overkill everything. <laughs> let's just charge and let it get out of the way. This is such overkill, like we don't need this much. <laughs> You know what? That's okay. Alright, they killed a few of the enemy. That's good. I like, I like, I like. Let's charge the enemy line and just kill everything and everyone. Because that's what we are all about. Charging. Of course, they might shoot reapers or something at us, that's fine, we will just mow those down. Oh no! Out of the way! Ooh. No! <laughs> how do you know when your command how do you know when your boss doesn't like you? <laughs> well. Coming for you. Die. Who's next? Hey, you guys are forgetting your friend over here. No, no, I, I'm gonna see if I can help you. Oh, damn. His corpse moves faster than I do. Maybe I can help nudge it in the right direction for them. Come on, guys. I'm gonna, I want to reunite you with your friend. Is it dead? Did we kill it? We want to reunite them with their cruiser of... Oh, come on. Let's hurry the retreat. Let's consider getting that back. And let's pick through the wreckage. As you guys are just like, Oh man, come on, this commander, he shot me in the back. It was an accident. Okay, so the Persian League is just suspicious of us now. Excellent. That means we can go to Chibola Station. As they interdict us. Like a bunch of turds. So what can we buy here? Uh, nothing. Alright, so they are after my buddy hegemony fleet. Let's join the battle. What do they have? Eh, a good amount of stuff. But we've got better stuff. And let's send in some of this salvage fleet. Yeah, that should be more than sufficient. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's charge. If we're not charging, we're not doing it right. Alright, come on, let's speed up and let's charge as soon as we are able. We want to get right into the thick of the enemy forces as soon as we can. Get out of my way. When there's something in the way, the only solution is gun. <laughs> and there is, when you don't have enough gun, the solution is more gun. <laughs> I'm coming to kill all of you, you know that, right? I'm coming for you. Your pathetic little fighters mean nothing to me. Nothing! Ah, you are far from next. You're next. Die! Who else wants some? Are you idiots running this? You should be. Go, my fighters. Slaughter them. Kill him. Kill him deep. Yes, close in. Slaughter him. 
Alright. Alright. Looks good. And, uh, yeah, we'll join the pursuit. We'll have you three do something. Consider super recovery. Yeah, we'll take it, I guess. Let's pick through the wreckage, take everything. And the Persian League lights us even more. Excellent. Time to do lots of snuggling. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that we've tr that we've gained some measure of your trust. That we are truly good, law-abiding citizens. As we're like, as like one side, it's it's us holding up like a like a phone or something, doing an interview. We're like we're wearing a suit, but then under the suit, it's actually just a trench coat, and then we're like holding part of the trench coat open so somebody can buy drugs from us. <laughs> <laughs> we are totally trustworthy individuals <laughs> who care about the integrity about our integrity in the v in the view of the Persian League okay so what else we got uh, there's this place I guess that is less jacked up I guess <laughs> Man, you guys just got wrecked. What are your defenses like? It's just a battle station? Okay. They have a military base. Right on. Well, no wonder. Um, let's see. Is there anything good? They don't have anything great. So, is, how's this, is this still going? One more day? Can we get into a fight immediately? No. All right, well, it's been fun, guys. I think I'm heading back home to Whiskey Primus with my buttload of money. Let's press D and go over here. There, good. You've got 19 days left. You've got 23. Let's make it a free port. So now we are the Smoglans. It's time. <laughs> it is time to consider oh okay it is time to consider returning to uh, it's time it's time to consider starting a fourth colony and that would be Quartus for those of you who are keeping track and uh, know the Roman ordinals. So it goes Primus, Secundus, Tertius, Quartus, Quinta, Sextus, Septimus, Octus, Nonus, and then Decimus. And there's probably another for 11 or something that I don't remember, unfortunately. All right, we can go farm a lot of faction with the independents in Thiru. And let's see what we can do here. So let's drop off all this stuff. Let's sort it, actually. No! Okay. And, uh, yeah. Looks good. Okay, so our, for our fleets, what can we do? So we actually want these guys to just be nothing but bombers, I think. But, um, yeah, about there, about as much as they can go here. So, yeah, I guess we'll make you just like them. The Dagatala. And as for everything else, well, let's make this a PD Annihilator, PD Annihilator, PD Annihilator. All these ships are just super jacked up. <laughs> let's repair our ships and let's see what else we can do. Alright, so what can we create? Now, custom production. All types. So we could make a Starliner. Did we go to get a second Starliner? No, we did not. So we will produce a Starliner just to see what happens. 
is it created like at the end of the month? Um, I don't know. Either way, it works. Let's confirm and then I what? Then I assume that uh, it gets to work on that, and at a certain point it will be done. Um, I guess. I guess the third through the month it'll be finished. Let's make our way to uh, Nachiteka, where we can buy lots of fuel. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so we want supplies and fuel, marines. That works. Do we have another Prometheus I can buy from you? That is not jacked up. What's your problem? Um, degraded engines. No. By Yama. What do you have with Yama? Is it anything good? Why are we going back? Oh yeah, it's probably because of um, system bonus or something. So what can we get here? Supplies are expensive and fuel is at cost. I mean, we might as well pick up their fuel at cost instead of our fuel at cost. Marines are expensive. So what can we get here? Uh, nothing that we're too worried about. So let's go back to Whiskey Primas. See what we can get. And then we will make our way over to Thule. Just in case we pick up some more um, ships along the way. Let's go ahead and expand our fleet. Alright. And uh, well, we have 2,000 supplies, so that should be more than enough. Let's pick up a little bit more fuel. And yeah, we can go down to 150. Heavy machinery. Alright, so let's go ahead and just make our way to Thule now. So Thule is controlled by what? So there is Persian League, Pirates, and Independence. Okay, well, let's go to Thule. And, it, like, do the Thulean Raider base, Thulean Raiders want a bunch of stuff? Because if we can make a lot of money at the same time, then we will. Do the Thuleans want anything? Doesn't look like it. They seem to be doing pretty well for themselves at the moment. So... We, however, will make a bunch of money uh, on the way there. So, Calcedon wants lots of fuel, so let's max out on fuel, because we're going to sell a bunch of it. Let's get a thousand marines, because we're going to we're going to uh, transfer their contracts, we'll say. Uh, Chibala is in tile, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, Nachiteka will pay a lot for that. Calcedon will pay a hundred. Pay for a hundred of these. What about drugs? If he wants drugs. And Umbra wants drugs as well. So we'll take 800 drugs. What about organs? No one wants organs at a good price. Sindria wants these. So we'll take 400 of these so we can slip our way to... No, we're not going to go anywhere. Mm... No, we're not going to go near Sindria. And so Umbra wants... So we're going to want a bunch. Yeah, we'll take an extra, like, 400 just so we make sure we have enough. And, uh, yeah, I think that is it. She's a most tech wants a bunch of those. They'll just give us 6,000 and it wouldn't be worth it. So, first we go to Umbra. Then we go to Calcedon. Well, first we go to, to Umbra. Then after that, we go... Oh, crap. 
Um, you jerks. Maybe they won't find it. Fine, you can have it. Oh, you just wanted the recreational drugs, huh? Well, I guess we'll uh, take 800 recreational drugs and let those uh, douchebags go and uh, get as high as they want. So we're going to Umbra and Epiphany. So we're going to Umbra first. But then we are making our way to elsewhere. Shion. So Tercios has finished its military base. Let's go to Tercios and start upgrading that to the high command immediately. How much money is everybody making? Quite a, a nice little sum, I suppose. Valhalla has a system bounty. But uh, yeah, on a good day, like each one of these is making like two, three grand each. No, I mean 200, 300 grand each. Well, 100, 200 grand each. So, you know, they're doing pretty well for themselves. Where is this? Sindria. We don't want to go to Sindria itself. We instead. Munskut Umbra, which is going to be that one. Let's go ahead and transverse jump into it. Now let's go trade with these douchebags. Okay, and we want to buy this castle. I want more of these. Not right now. But we'll, we'll buy all. We'll take all their marines. They like that's good. You guys have a Prometheus. You don't. Well, oh, let's go ahead and transverse jump out of here. Thank you. You douchebag. Let's make our way over to Algeba. Into a Pifani. And let's see what we can do over here. So, we're going to keep our transponder off as per usual. And we're going to just make our way over to Epiphany and sell them all the drug supplies and fuel to fuel their religious terrorism. Because that is what they're good at. Thanks for the money. Let's go over to Casedon, where we will make quite a chunk of a change. Then after that, we will make our way to the Thule system, where we will kill all the pirates and make all the money. Nice. So Whiskey Tertia Tertius is currently good. <laughs> There's not much that can mess with Tercius right now. Once that high command is up, it will be basically made of stone. So, very nice. Well, now we could go to Kani and sell them 500. And Thule's pretty close to us, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to Kani and sell them a bunch of fuel then after that we will go to we'll, we'll sell them a bunch of fuel before we go to Thule all right that rhymed I'm a pirate I'm a poet and I don't even know it let's see what we can do here so yes what do you want what do you want what do you want stuff there you go all yours buddy All right, so, you got any Promethei? Prometheus. Let's go ahead and transverse jump out of here and make our way over to Thuwala. Specifically to... Where's the independence here? Edfeld. Eldfeld. Let's 
Let's keep that transponder on and let's make our way in. They don't hate us, that's good. And, oh, they, these guys don't have any defenses? No wonder they get raided. Let's buy some fuel and just, well, let's just, now, let's buy some fuel. And we don't have anything that's legal, so let's go over here. See if the bloody pirates are over there. Maybe they will be, maybe they won't be, maybe we'll be able to kill somebody in 22 days. Nice. Seems to be a fight going on over here. Let's go ahead and join the battle. Let's have our second in command handle it. We'll have him use the shuttles of doom. Doomy, doomy, doom. All right. So, I believe because we jumped in the battle, they like us slightly more. All right, let's go ahead and jump in this battle as well. There's a nice amount of enemy fighters, of enemy forces. Let's go ahead and send in the shuttles as well as this destroyer and well that's probably extreme overkill to send in all of that so yeah this that should be fine let's go ahead and charge as soon as we can because what else i'm gonna do with our free time Controls locked, maneuver jets disabled, venting disabled. All right. Let's set those squall MLRs to uh, auto fire. And let's con. Yeah, let's actually set the, uh, the assault chain guns to auto fire as well. Let's not. Right, let's continue charging towards the enemy. We want to kill as many of them as we can. Die, you fools. You fool! You fool! You idiots. You'll come over here to your deaths. Don't even know it. Excellent. So it's left. <laughs> See enemy force over there, they're gonna be picked up soon, and then you. Uh yeah, you I guess. Let's just kill you instead. Let's... Do you turn faster if you're not using any of your momentum for uh, moving forward? I wonder. So maybe? No, I don't think so. So are they running? They're not running. Amazing. Oh, they still have a uh, they still have that cruiser, so they think they're in the game. They think they're hot stuff. And uh, well, this heron is about to uh, find out what it feels like to have a dog. <laughs> Dogs love saying hello to you in interesting ways. <laughs> Alright, nice. That destroyer is doing a pretty good job, I think. Nice, let's charge. Hello, you fool! And 
and we're almost ready to charge. Ah, uh, we are ready. Let's go ahead and do this, and then let's charge them. Charge! <laughs> <laughs> it's so broken. It's great. I love it. It's not broken. It's just very stupid. You just charge while firing and they can't do anything. <laughs> Alright. Let's claim victory. Let's join the pursuit. I'll let you do it. Uh, you three. Excellent work, guys. Oh no! We lost the jump. So let's take everything and... The independents like us more. Okay, what can we do here? So we, we're, we're probably going to be flying ships like this. These combat carriers. We might go up to a... Uh, we might go up to an astral when it becomes available. Um, but we're going to get level 3 of this thing. And... Just so our bombers are super deadly. Oh, hello. Oh no, you poor scavenger. Don't worry, we're going to join. We're going to uh, beat the crap out of these people. <laughs> we're going to throw everything we've got at them. I need you to get out of my way. Oh, we're just nudging them in the right direction. As we are as we are constantly just screaming wah as we charge. <laughs> Trying desperately to keep up with our destroyer. Oh yeah, that's right, they have uh, stuff like this. So let's uh one go over there and everyone assault that. All right, let's charge in. Let's show these guys what for. Hmm. Where's the middle of the enemy force? Right there. <laughs> we are pointed directly at it. Let's just keep doing what we do best. Yeah, right over there. Oh, the enemy forces uh, middle is over there now. Let's do what we do best, shall we? Let's charge right at their carriers and slaughter them. <laughs> Hello, friend. What do you take me for? Some sort of person who doesn't charge? Let's see, the enemy forces, the heart of them are back there. You now we're gonna do this. One weakness, three ships. Oh man, you are super speedy, aren't you? Well, how are my forces doing? <laughs> we are creating a big wedge in the enemy force. Uh, let's have you guys not be overly worried about that and instead focus on killing the enemy. Alright, let's do this.
right, uh, I think our strategy right now is just to punch through the enemy as harsh as part as hard as possible. Thing is ridiculous. All right, uh, let's have our second in command handle it with uh, you, I guess. Good luck. <laughs> All right, we don't want any of that, so let's let's pillage the wreckage and uh, enjoy our faction increasing with uh, the independence by a huge amount. Yeah, they love us. <laughs> So we might as well just scavenge some stuff. We don't want that. And uh, what can we get here? This is Jaram. And we're coming to get you, Barbara. All right, so you poor fools. You do not run fast enough. Um, yeah, we're going to kill them. <laughs> Let's do what we do best and uh, spam them with shuttles and a destroyer that's half broken and stuff. Yeah, this would be great. Now, of course, we need to scream wah and make our way forward. Monster. <laughs> Ships we want to know. All right, sounds good. And you know, there there are actually a lot of pirates here. I like it. Um, where can we go? Where we can repair over here to Gazeron, and then hopefully we can get back there and kill them. Oh yeah, we have plenty of time. To get back and repair so we are we are good to go we will hopefully probably have lots of time to get back let's repair our stuff and uh do they what's their opinion on us first in league they're just suspicious so well i mean we have plenty of 
holding room. So we have one Prometheus and we would like a second. Can we get a black market? No. So we'll take a second Prometheus. And oh right, right, right. We want to repair our ships. And then let's head back over here. Oh no. That's right, we want to actually outfit that Prometheus. We need to uh, set it to orange paint. And then it's going to go over here. Cool. Okay, now our maximum burn is slightly higher. Since the person league it improved ever so slightly. Okay, so. Oh, there's some enemies. Let's get them. Let's chase them down and murder them. Well, they're outlawed, so you can't murder them technically, so. Let's kill them all. Okay, that should be good. I'm gonna turn to the side slightly before we uh, charge. Oh! Uh, your biggest, meanest ship, eh? It should start saturating the area around us with bullets here are the enemy fighters. Oh, that's your biggest ship? Oh no, you poor thing. I, I like the uh, low-tech approach. There are enemies? Cool, just start shooting machine guns at it. You'll probably kill enough of them. Hello, you fool. Are you getting too close? Do you want some and you don't want some? Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> there is no mercy for your kind, but only dead. Get back here, cruiser. I didn't give you permission to leave. Contribute in a meaningful way to killing the cruiser. Oh well. Let's hurry the retreats. We didn't lose any ships. Let's pick through this stuff. There's this Colossus. Let's salvage it. Let's salvage a little bit more. We don't want a drone tender. And uh, let's. Alright, the bounty is over. Well, it's been fantastic. The independents, they love us. They think we are the best people ever. So, let's go to Whiskey Privas to pick up lots of stuff. What do we have? We have a nice amount of fuel and supplies and everything. Very nice. Sort of recouped many of our losses, I suppose. So let's go back to Whiskey Primos. Let's go to Epiphany. Let's go to Calcedon. Where we will be able to we'll, where we will be able to hire a great many crew members. We will be able to hire a lot of employees. And then we'll be able to have those employees found our own little colony. It'll be fantastic. So off we go.
All right, so let's see what we can get over here before we have to call it a day. And let's see, we want to hire as many employees as we can get. We'll sell you a bunch of marines. We'll sell you some supplies. I don't know, will we be able to make it home? I don't know if we'll be able to do that. So, all right. So let's go ahead and make our way. How many supplies do we have? 800. Let's go ahead and make our way to, um, yeah, Whiskey, Whiskey Primus. As we are rolling in the money right now. So soon, so yeah, you went with mining. We're probably gonna have you go, yeah, we're gonna have you go mining as well. So we can, so we can get that. Uh, actually, you know, we don't need to. I mean, it would be beneficial to us. But uh, you'll go mining and then probably refining, maybe? Yeah, we'll have you go refining and you go fuel production. Yes. Nice. Yeah, two and a half grand. Uh, 250 grand per month isn't quite so bad. I'm pretty sure it might go down once we start needing to pay a great deal of money every month. Or just be at war with the hegemony all the time. And we'll probably choose just to fight the hegemony instead. <laughs> all things considered. Alright, we could go to Valhalla and um, buy lots and get lots of fighting done. Try Tachyon, they like us slightly more. That's always a good sign. Alright, so let's dump all this stuff off. Cool. Then let's go over here and do that and do this. We only want 150. As far as I know, that's all you need to to properly scavenge everything in the game. I need scavenging. So we want to bring on an extra thousand or so employees. So let's do that. So we need 3,000 employees, basically. Let's do that. We're gonna need some ex. We're gonna need an extra hundred or so heavy machinery. We're gonna need a bunch of supplies. Let's just get an extra thousand or so. And then we're gonna need lots of fuel. Let's go to Yama and then to Nachateka. We will buy all the supplies and fuel that we can. After that, we will try to pick up our Starliner. See what we can do with that. So, what can we get from you guys? Fuel and supplies. I love it. What can we trade with you for? Nothing that we're too worried about. Not your dick, yeah. Here we come. Okay, so Whiskey Secundus has grown more. They're wanting to scan us. We're cool with that. It's alright. Let's go over here. What can we buy? We can get another Legion. Or we can pick up another Onslaught. Or we can pick up our first Onslaught. So the Onslaughts, they cost 40 to push out. Legions cost 40. I guess we could have the legions have a bunch of like atropos or something because right now it's really good at killing kind of everything so if it could be good at also killing capital ships that would make it outrageously powerful um 
And it costs more than an onslaught, actually, which is interesting. Large ballistics. Wait, hold on a second. What do we have? Coercion doesn't have large ballistics, it has large missiles. Their version has large ballistics. Medium composite. Okay. This has a lot of different options. I'm gonna take it. Um, okay. I'm gonna take it just so we can look at it and see what it does and how it works and dissect it, I guess. But let's buy all of the fuel and supplies that we can. Our crew should be help us out a bit uh, and not be going over, but uh, let's see. Yes, we're good. And it, it might be interesting if we have like a bunch of battle carriers. Uh, okay, so these are large ballistics instead. Okay, sounds good. Let's go over to Whiskey Primus and see what we can find. Okay, so everyone is good here, right? You're finishing. You're going to be done soon with you. You're pretty much a killing machine and you, what can we apply to you? Uh, that works. All right. So don't worry. Every month we will get a bunch of money. So I'm not too worried about that. All right. Let's take this. Oh no! We need to get rid of some ships. Probably some uh, some kites. Okay. Let's take this one and. Let's paint it red. Let's give it bombers. And all right, we're gonna do that. Sweet. Okay. So come over here. And what can we do with this thing? Those mule neuro cannons are terrifying. I already know that. Those things are super dangerous. Um that's a big one shot. That is another big one shot. This is anti shield. That's anti armor. This is anti fighter. This is anti armor. And this is general. Um, hmm. I know I have them actually. Some, some of these weapons. So we can go to custom production. If we go to weapons, and if we go to ballistics. Um, let's see. That one has a slow refire. I think it's one of these that has a really high fire rate. Yeah, it's this one, the Ephesus Assault Gun. It's anti-armor, so that's the equivalent of machine gun, basically. Of those auto cannons we have. This one is large anti-shield. It fires four bursts, four round burst, and yes. So when we go back, when we go down to medium sized, which is most of them. If we go with the big guns are anti-armor, and these are anti-shield, then these could work pretty well, I think. Yeah, because it'd be like the assault chain gun, but just better range. Assault auto cannon, yes. So yeah, that could work. Could work really well. Uh, let's go over to fleets. Let's slap these Hefeste on you. Of course, we don't have one, so we're just going to placeholder it, I guess.
Wait, okay, so that's medium. What, what do the small ones look like again? Usually the mediums have an extra square on them or something. So the anti in the heavy needler does 50. Yeah, it's damage per second is 230 compared to this. Okay. So it's flux per second is 214, your flux per second is 200. You do more damage. So dual mount of the light needler with heavier base. Advanced weapon, bonus shield projectors. Interesting. Where do I get more of these? Are these uh, remnant weapons? Because I would like to get more of them. Um, okay, well, we don't have more of them, so we're going to... Um, can I make needlers? It's common, so... I mean, maybe. All sizes... I don't see needler anywhere. But, uh, okay. What else can we do over here? We might go with a bunch of cobra wings, because that might be really fun. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so back to you. So what I want to do is those Belby needlers, but unfortunately I don't have access to that at the moment. So, heavy auto cannon. That is anti-shield, this is anti-armor. DPS is 2, it's 480, DPS is... Okay. No, 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 how do I get it only to look at those? Can I? I don't think I can. Um, so, okay, that's a medium composite as well. So we could put missiles on this, or we could put these on there. So our prototype here, um, I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but our prototype is probably going to be horrendously un overfluxed. So, if we go with machine guns on these small ballistics. There's a small ballistic, right? Yeah. Then we get good PD. So what does our flux look like? Our Hephaestus will be nine... 980, right? No, 960. And then over here on the group two, we have all those heavy auto cannons. So we need to push this up as much as we can. And then we want to see what, see what else we can do. Um, I think we might want to have one, of, at least one of these be something else, or the other two over here be something else. So this is 480. So to get these to 960, we need four of them or so. But the needlers will need if we had four needlers, we would be sitting at um, at seven. At four needlers, we'd be sitting at two at a thousand. So very close. If we get rid of those and we put missiles on them instead, 
And then what could we do? Hmm. Because it would ideally be something I don't have to I don't have to babysit. Because if I have to babysit it, we're not gonna use it. Um I could go here and put Reapers, actually. Typhoon Reaper launcher. Um uh, Because that would give me some some really direct killing power. Uh, it does mean that this slow ship has to actually get focused on something, but you know, it could work. So I do that, and then I put have four auto cannons instead of five. So it's still horribly overfluxed. So if we go with, um, we can't do overrides on, on a ship this size. So we would need to go with, uh, where is it? It's an F. So flux distributor would increase by 150 or 20. Wouldn't be worth it be honest um because i mean this is going to go up to like 900 <laughs> so really it's one of those situations where we want to actually manually fire them i think just to bring down someone's shields and then after that we would swap and uh, shoot them with the other ones so while it is horribly overfluxed, uh, there is a reason uh, for it, I suppose. We have lots of point defense, so that's good at least. So we have to save ourselves an additional 20 OP. Okay, so we are probably good at killing most small craft at least. So we have a trident. Actually what we're not good at is killing like fighters because we have really crappy... Our, our point defense isn't the worst but it isn't the best. So what would be better is if we had something that would allow us to kill lots of enemies very quickly. So we won't benefit we won't benefit a bunch of those on. The cobras we might be able to work with. Because their replacement time is 20 seconds, your replacement time is 25 seconds. So if we go with cobras, one, those reapers are terrifying. One reaper does 4,000 damage. Each of these a each of these atropos does twelve one thousand damage, I think. So, I mean, it's still so, it isn't something you want to get shot with, but at the same time, um, you know, it is kind of its thing. Uh, those atropos, I can see over on somebody who has one installed. How much damage does it do? One thousand. So like, those tridents, they do the same amount of damage, but they take longer to come out. Like that, that one reaper is potentially just lethal to something immediately. So, let's go over here. Let's produce those. And I, I assume that is due at the end of the month, I guess. How does that work? Does it just tell me? So is it done now? Okay. 
I think it, I think it comes off at the end of the month. Which means we have 10 days to wait. Oh well, yeah, I'll also be uh, swapping over to piloting this one. Even though we have no combat skills. <laughs> So, oh yeah, we also want to Hephaestus, if we can make it, we can, so we want to make one of those. Okay, so, alright guys, it does look like that's going to be all the time I have for today. We are going to go and found a new colony. Now the question is where? So we have one colony. Whiskey Secundus over there. Whiskey Tercius is in Samara. Two, three. So yeah, we're going to get to Whiskey Sextus and then we will and then once Wissy Sextus is done, we will re we will revoke our Oh no, that's hegemony as well. So we'll get to Septimus. And then we will end our um, connection with the hegemony. Yes. And proceed to probably end up in total war with them. <laughs> All right, excellent. All right, guys, leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think. Uh, tell me what you think about that ship. I am going to have to um, have this ship. Like its weapons groups probably OK like that, but I can't have them all on auto fire. I have to choose to fire either the anti shield or the anti armor. and I have to swap between them. Light machine guns should all be fine. The Reapers are going to be absolutely deadly. Oh man, our top speed is so low. Uh, Slux is zero. Not sure it'll super bonus at 52. A 52 top speed. Very nice. And it has its charge that it does. Yeah, burn drive. Can cause a flame out while the system is active. Very nice. So, we are very slow. <laughs> but we are very heavily armored. And we are very deadly. Let's just take this and update it a little bit. Let's just add. Four more cobras to that. One, two. No, 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 no. Other way. Other way. One, two. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then, yeah, they will just kill everything. I think. Just. <laughs> wow. Fire chassis. Wow. That thing is just absolutely terrifying. All right, all right, guys. Go ahead and leave me a comment below. Like so, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, share with your friends and whoever else you think would like the would like the show. And I will see you guys next time on Star Sector. Bye.